So let's do the entire workflow one more time. So we start out with the requirements. Right? And I'm not going to draw all the full circles here. Just want to show and illustrate that you need to do that, right? So you want to look at am I technically capable of automating my conversations? What are the conversations that I'm going to be automating? And then, you know, who are we, you know, so which conversations am I going to be having? And who am I going to be having these conversations with? And then the last step is who is going to be having these conversations on our behalf. So that's creating the bot personality. And that's really where the conversational copywriter excels and he protects that tone of voice that is being created. So we then go to happy conversation design, right? And what we have there is really the identification of the use case. Then we canvas the bot needs and the human needs, right? So we have our use case. Then we have the human and assistant needs. So we use our canvas for that. And then here is where the magic happens where we have sample dialogue. We have sample dialogue, which is being turned into a flow chart. Which is then being validated through a Wizard of Oz test. And being improved through an expert rewrite. Expert rewrite, you know, like we saw earlier with the table read in TV shows. And this is really how the flow of information goes, right? And then we go like that. That communicates with that. And that, you know, again, improves the flow chart that's going to be sent to the stakeholders for approval. So we've done our happy conversation here now. Now we're going to have it signed off by our stakeholders. And these can be anyone, right? But often they're product owners, sort of knowledge managers, business owners. It can be anyone. And that's really one sprint, right? So this is happy. And now let me actually use some green here to show you that this takes place in a different sprint, right? So we could say, uh, Sprint one, and this is sprint. I need more consistency in my ends, I realize. That's sprint two, which is called detailed conversation design, right? That's detailed. So in detailed, what we're going to be doing is AI training important step there. Then we're going to be looking at the long tail. Then once we've sort of decided on the long tail, we've decided on who we want to keep in the conversation and who we're going to hand off, we're going to work our butts off through error handling to make sure that we keep those people in. Once we've done that and we've written all of this, it's really time to implement, implement, and then once it's live, we're going to start iterating. And these are really all the steps. So we have two sprints. Sprint one for happy conversation design. We get the sign off from the stakeholders and then we go to detailed conversation design in sprint two. And again, where do these use cases come from? Well, they come from the business. 
They come from the business or they come from data science. They help people that just look at all the data in the, in the organization and they find use cases. Or they actually come from the AI training that is doing the iteration, right? And together, these three things usually create use cases that are on the backlog and go into that first sprint. So again, who's going to be actually working this workflow, right? So who are the people that are going to make sure that we successfully design, deploy, and manage AI assistance? Well, we told you that before, right? We have AI trainers. And the AI trainers are really the people that turn data into understanding, right? So they train the models, they implement everything into the platform that you're using, and they go over the data and do the analysis to identify new use cases, but also optimize the model itself. Then we have the conversation designers, the, the conver, the conversation designers, and these people really do, you know, the canvassing and looking at the human needs and the assistant needs. They do the sample dialogue, they create the flow chart, and they do the Wizard of Oz testing. And together with the copywriting, you know, they're involved with the long tail and error handling somewhat as well. And then we have our conversational copywriter. Conversational. copywriter that's really the person that turns words into resonating dialogue so he creates the bot personality and drives strategy around tone of voice during the requirements phase and he's really involved in the expert rewrite to make sure that everything that goes out the door you know is, is really compliant with tone of voice and sounds great and creates a beautiful human-centric experience and really creates a good AI assistant it's the editor-in-chief and the person that has the final say on every on every word that your AI assistant is going to say so together this workflow these people are going to make your AI assistants, whether it's a chatbot or a voice assistant, they're going to make it successful and it's going to allow you to have millions of conversations a day in an automated, friendly and personalized way.